uh, hello, this is uh, uh, streaming. Now we are going to play something and then we are going, I am going to um, make a reading of a book. So let's begin with this. First, I'm going to play the something in the Bawu. This is in F. Bawu uh, in F. So, listen the this music. <laughs> let's begin with the reading so the name of the book is explaining Tai Chi principles Fa Chi Tai Chi Fa Shuo and now let's begin this is uh, a tribute to Yang Pang Ho and the translation by Paul Brennan in 2013 September and the cover of the book we go down and this is explaining the principles the law which is place a Wu iron property of stamp Wu Qi Chuan signature complete book of Wu style Tai Chi books in theory and practice with Wu Kong Chao stamp. I really don't know wh wh what's saying here, but I think it's the same. And the, we have a uh, for lead to to cherries. Okay. And then it began like this: As to lies roll, I was contacted by E Li Yip, son of a disciple of Wu Kong Ji who has this to say Mr. Lee was a disciple of wool of the wool family and a rich man living in Macau in the 1940s the wool family in Hong Kong was so poor that they gave this book to Lee for a big sum of money thus you can see this is stamp of collection which is a riddle of uh, all Chinese books lovers and collectors in 1979, when Wu Gong Sao was released from prison and came to Hong Kong, Li returned the book free of charge. When Gong Sao got hold of the book, tears rushed out of his eyes and his hands shook. Then he says, while well, that's the back of the cover, the young Wu Gong Sao's thumb, this one. And then it says the personal stamp appears also upon three other pages of the manuscript 
on the first page of the contents and last page of the main text are the Wu Jian Chuan stamp, followed by the Wu Kongshao stamp, then both Li Du stamps, the Wu Aijun stamps appear below, the other stamps on the first content page, but it's crowded out by the spacing of the stamps on the last page of the main text, and so is placed on its own on the first page main text. After my grandfather Wu Qianyu become a formal disciple of Yan Banghou, gave him this manual. It's a handwriting manuscript that was made in Tuan Tang's royal mansion. It has been in our family for over a hundred years. I have perceived, perceived it up to now since my childhood. Comment by Wu Hongzhou. These young family manuscripts exist in two versions placed side by side below. The pages on the left are the version owned by the Wu family. First, Sharp pub public its entirety in 18 1985, and the black and white photocopy on the right are the, of the versions owned by the young family itself. First shard publicity in 1993. Only the Wu's family's version is titled and has a cover into an and personal stamps. To date, these documents, all we really have to go on is Wu Hong Sao comment of more than a hundred years. But when did he scribble his introductory notes? The Wu family's document was included as an extra section for the 1985 reprint of Tai Chi manual Wu Hong Sao had published in 1935, but Wu Hong Sao had died in 1983, leaving the reprint to, the, to be published posthumously. Going by Jin Jong's postscripts to the reprint that date Yen, 1980, we probably said in assuming the reprint version of the book was already in preparation in 1979 and that Wu Kong's introductory note was made around that time. And if we then assume Wu Kong Sao was beginning to write when he said more than a hundred years, the manuscript will be from no later than 1878. Um, 1878, don't worry. Yang Lushan, Wu first teacher, passed away in 1872. The manuscript probably cannot be from any earlier than the that or Wu Kong Cao would more likely have been told that Yang Luchang was to be cred credited as well as Yang Bang Ho. It's even possible that the loss of Yang Luchang may itself have served as a motivation for preserve preserving Yang family teachings and that is his passing pushed the manuscript into the beginning making a simple compromise between the two dates um, of 1872 and 1878. I will provisionally guess that the manuscript is from the Thera Boats of 1875. One version was even the even Coop copied from the other. This is demonstrated by the fact that there are some idiosyncrasies of the text that are irrationally preserved. For instance, the title for section 13 in the context used where, whereas the title for 13 in the body of the text uses, I think it's A, full version of the character 
know what this is. A lot of other actions of this are written as the variant version, except for one particular instance near the end of the 13th text, where it's used instead of whatever that means. And this situation is identical in pull documents. A more mindful act of re rendering the text will simply put the more consistent in the place where and were being used in the original document. But what appears instead is the loyalty to the world rather than the text that is hallmarked of mere speed in copying that that's indicate the process of copying the text was not done slowly and editorially in order to make a tighter version of the manuscript, but was instead <coughs> the act of quickly copying words from one set of paper to another, simply for the sake of making a copy. Resulting in what is actually a slow perversion of the manuscript, as can be seen from examining both versions, they are clearly by the same hand and so we were probably not made very far apart in time, in which case how close in time could they be? Taking up a pen and copying the text into a notebook myself, I found that to maintain a decent balance between efficiency and legibility, I averaged about 20 minutes to copy out a page of the manuscript. A more skilled calligrapher ought to be able to do it in about half time, but a half dozen pages per hour still adds up to a full day's work. <coughs> I think it's doubtful these two documents were produced on the same day, but it's possible that one was copied from the other the very day after the priest was complete. Even if they really happen to be made only a day apart, we can still reasonably conclude which of the two is the earlier document when going through the process of simply copying out words it's usual to us I don't know what to say here but very natural to simply leave a few words oh. there are more occasions of words appearing in full documents being left out in the young document that the reverse. A less mindful process of copying out words also tends to generate more incorrect words that is the case with the thoughtful writing of an original document. Again, the young document has more mistakes words than the old document. Both of these things indicate the young document was most likely copied from the old document, which would make the old document the earlier of the two. I have included a list of the text of variation further below. It remains open to speculation as to why the Wu family should have the earlier version and the Yang family possess only a copy, and where, whether there were still ever versions than the Wu version, or whether. Oh.
So. Again, the Yang document was more mistaken words than the Wu document. Both of these things indicate the Yang document was most likely copied from the Wu document, which would make the Wu document the earlier of the two. I have included a list of textual variations further below. It remains open to speculation as to why the Wu family should have the earlier version and the Yang family possess only a copy and whether there were, were still earlier versions than the Wu version or whether there are, were any future copies made in between the Wu and the Yang versions and after. Hmm. Okay, wait a moment please, I'm doing some stuff here. Since it appears to be the authority authoritative draft of the two, my type transcription of the Chinese text below is entirely from the Wu document. The punctuation indicates which appearance in the Yang family's copies are absent from the Wu family's versions and so must have been added by later hand, possibly a great deal later. And therefore, in the interest of authenticity, I have not included them in the transcriptions. Transcription. Okay. Photos. And now, let's begin with the contents. Okay. Going down. Uh -huh. More photos of the book. The original book, the two versions, and okay. Oh, here is decision gate guarding the building. Okay, here is begin the text. The eight gates and the five steps. Pamen wu 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 bu. So, the positions of the eight gates are based on the principle of the passive and active aspects inverting each other, cycling round and round, following each other in their process. All of the four primary techniques corresponding to the cardinal directions and four secondary techniques corresponding to the corner directions must be understood. Warding up, rolling back, pressing and pushing are the four primary techniques. Clocking, rending, elbowing and bumping are the four secondary techniques. The combining of these cardinal and corners to positions the three Grams. The body makes its steps according to the five elements racing in all directions. The five elements are advance, fire, retreat, water, step to the left, wood, step to the right, metal, and stay in the center, earth. Advancing and retreating are the steppings of water, fire. Left and right are the steppings of metal and wood, and the central earth is the axis from all of them. Embrace the eight three grams as you step through the five elements. Techniques plus steps equals eight plus five, amounting the thirteen naturally expressed as the thirteen dynamics known as the eight gates and five steps. Two on the training method, method for the eight gates and five steps. The eight triagrams and five elements are innate with, within us. You must first understand that they are based in these four terms, perception, 
realization, activation, action. These four terms amount to moving with awareness. This is breakdown of four words, which will type typically and especially so for modern Chinese speakers only be considered as two terms to break movement and awareness into their component path results in moving equal the activations of movement plus the act of moving and awareness equal the perception that something is plus the realization of what it is in short, moving with awareness, this idea is fur further elaborated upon in the next section, where the purpose of breaking down the two terms into four becomes more clear. Once you have achieved moving with awareness, then you will be able to identify energies. Once you can, uh, I don't know what this here, identify energies then you will be able to be miraculous. But in the beginning of training, you should understand moving with awareness, although it's innate, it is nevertheless hard to achieve with oneself. Three, <coughs> or innate, ability to distinguish from birth our eyes can see ears can hear noise can smell mouth can taste sights and sounds smells and taste all innate sense dance of hands friends of feet the abilities of our limbs are all innate from our movement pondering upon this we find it is our random experience. Our natures make us the same, but our experience make us unique. That make us lose touch with what is innate. If we want to return to our innate qualities, there will be no martial aspect unless we seek the source of movement, and there will be no civic aspect unless we grasp the basis of awareness with these things, then there will be moving with awareness. If there is activation and perception, there will be action and realization. If there is no activation or perception, there will be no action or realization. When activation is at its height, action is initiated. When perception is fully lucid, there is realization. Action and realization are the easy part. Activation and perception are tricky. First, strive to move with awareness for yourself. Grasping it within your own body, then naturally you will be able to spot it in the opponent. If, on the other hand, you try to find it in opponent's fears, you will probably never find it in yourself. You have to be able to understand this concept in order to be able to identify energies. 4. Stick, adhere, connect and follow. Sticking means to lift up high. Adhering means to stay and be attached. Connecting means to let go of yourself and not separate from the opponent. Following means to follow him wherever he goes. If you want to move with awareness and you yet you do not understand sticking, adhering, adhering connecting and following, it will, it will be beyond your reach for it is a very suitable skill. Crashing in, 
collapsing coming away and resistance crashing in means sticking your head out collapsing means not enough pressure coming away means separating resistance means too much pressure you should understand that these four mistakes will not merely interfere with sticking adhering connecting and following but will also prevent you from moving with awareness when beginning to work with a partner you must understand and especially prevent these errors the difficulty in sticking other hiring connecting and following is in not allowing yourself to crash in collapse come away or resist this is not at all easy acting without mistakes crashing in collapsing coming away and resistance will lose in a fight and so they are called mistakes if you neglect sticking other hiring connecting and following you will not be able to achieve moving with awareness and if you are not aware of yourself how will you be able to know your opponent therefore when fighting do not use crashing in collapsing coming away or resistance there be opposing the opponent instead using the sticking other hearing connecting or following there be awaiting the opponent if you can do it in this way then not only will you be without mistakes but moving with awareness will be automatically accomplished and you can then progress to the skill of identifying energies 7 <coughs> practicing maintaining the central ground in fighting commonly called standing like a post when standing centers your feet should be rooted start by understanding the four primary techniques then advancing and retreating the four techniques are ward off roll back brace and push you have to do a lot of work to get them to be real for the body posture your waist and head drop should both be correct when sticking at her connecting and following your intention and energy are to be uniform show out movement and awareness respond to each other mind is sober and body is subject when you get the degree just right you will naturally have both the civil quality and the martial if the degree is not right there is over cooking or under cooking in which case too much will be under cook and too martial will be overcooked eight the body's posture the waist and head top for your body's posture how could your waist and head top be hard neglecting either all your work will be in vain waist and head top are to be exhaustively studied for your whole life when your body posture is naturally it will naturally be loosened and comfortable if you dismiss it, this truth how will you end up but that after 10 years you will still be confused nine tai chi circling as in the circles of the pushing hand exercise circling while retreating is easy but circling while advancing is difficult so do not get sloppy with your waist and head up when going forward or back it's 
it is hard to stay in the central position, so the, the ease of retreat and difficulty of advance are to be carefully studied, as this is a matter of movement rather than stance. Stay close to the opponent while advancing or retreating. Circling can be like a water mill as it spreads up or slows down, or like the dragon-like claws or tiger-like wings winding all around. If you use the sky as model to help you seek this, then after a long time it will be expressed instinctively. Tai Chi's skill of advancing and retreating ceaselessly. It's natural to ward off while advancing and roll back while retreating, since passive and active, like water and fire, exchange roles with each other. First, understand the four primary techniques and get them to the be authentic. Then you may move on to blocking, grinding, elbowing, and bumping. Performing the four secondary techniques on the basis of the primary. Then there is the 13 posture solo set, which goes on and on ceaselessly. And hence is called the long boxing. It is like a long river following into the wide ocean. You may spread out and gather in as you will, but by no means allow yourself to stray from the Taiji concept. 11. Taiji's above and below, or sky and ground. For techniques divided into above and below, sky and ground, blocking, rending, elbowing, and bumping, each having their source. Block and rend based in sky, elbow, and bump based in ground. When blocking and bumping are coordinated with each other, there is no worry of above and below coming out of joint. But, but if friending and elbowing are not coordinated with each other, you will lose the relationship between sky and ground and be left with only sights of regret. As this explanation is clearly about the realms of sky and ground, when advancing using elbowing or rendering, return to the condition of mankind, the proper range the balanced position, man being the middle zone between sky and ground. 12. Tai Chi Egg Techniques in the Realm of Mankind This egg te technique song concerns to egg triagrams with its four primary and four secondary techniques. A mere 13 dynamic is not a lot, but, however, many there might be if their standard is not maintained, and if the position of your weights and head top is misplaced, you will end up sight with war. The key to there being no division lies in two words the sovereign and the subject, roles of the mind and body. Ponder them carefully. Your skill should have no division between internal and external. And then there will be no any mistakes however many contenders you fight. What comes out of your theory a fight should be natural. Coming from such interaction as between the realms of ground and sky. 
when you no longer have a problem with letting go of yourself there will not be hesitation as long as you go upward or downward forward or back 13 tai chi substance and application principle is the substance of a sense energy and spirit a sense energy and spirit are the substance of the body body is mind applied power is the applying of body mind and body have a specific controller principle a sense energy and spirit also have a specific controller heart felt sincerely sincerely is the way of nature and to be sincere is the way of mankind and neither of these ways leaves the mind for an instant if you understand the principle that nature and mankind are of the same substance you will naturally grasp the solar and lunar active and passive flow of energy that the energy is the flow of intention and the spirit lies na naturally hide within principle then you will obtain the martial and civil aspects and the qualities of wisdom and spirituality in order to make use of martial arts as a means to discuss mind and body or to develop power and strength keep it based in the way for this art is not only for developing skill power comes from the snooze strength comes from the bones looking at it poorly physical and uh, one who has great strength is able to carry many hundreds of pounds but this is an externally shown action of bones and joints a stiff strength if on the other hand the power of your whole body is used it may appear you are unable to lift hardly any weight at all yet there is an internal robustness of a sense and energy and once you have achieved skill you will seem to have something more wonderful than one who has the stiff sort of strength thus runs the method of physical training for self-cultivation 14 tai chi's civil and martial qualities The civil quality is the substance, the martial quality is the application. The civil training within the martial application is a matter of the sense, energy and spirit. It is the physical cultivation. The martial training of the civil substance is a matter of mind and body. It is the martial reality. The civil and martial qualities in the training process are a ma matter of when to coil and when to release this is the basis of physical cultivation the civil and martial qualities in a fighting situation are a matter of when best to store and when best to issue this is the foundation of martial reality it is said that at those of civil in the martial makes it a softener physical ex exercise this new power of a sense, a sense, energy and spirit, while adding more martial to the martial, martial will make it a hard than a fighting drill, a solid effort of mind and body. The civil quality without the martial quality and the wrist will be just application without substance. The martial quality with Oh, the civil quality in tandem will be substance without application since one piece of wood 
will not support a wall building and since you cannot clap your hands without just one hand this is not just a matter of health and fighting but it's a principle that applies to everything the civil quality is the inner principle the martial quality is the outward skill those who have the outward skill but lack the civil principle will be consumed by reckless glory discarding the original purpose of the art they will try to overpower opponents and inevitably lose those on the other hand who have the civil principle but lack the outward skill will be distracted by me meditative expectation they will have no idea what to do in a fight and they will be destroyed the moment it turns chaotic to apply this art upon an opponent you must understand both the civil and martial qualities 15 taiji is identifying of energies once you are identifying your own energies you will be working your way towards something miraculous succeed at the civil aspect and then develop into the martial there are at all times in the body 72 channels for passive energy as well as 72 channels for active energy when the active aspect is balanced by the passive water and fire, fire are in a state of mutual benefit skyness and growthness are at a place with each other and the genuineness of one's life essence is preserved once you are identifying the opponent energies the state of seeing them and hearing them you are adapting to everything you encounter and will naturally obtain the subtlety of falseness and trueness the manipulating of emptiness and fullness the posture will be performed with effortless precision and your movements will be conducted with awareness once at this degree of skill everything you do will be appropriate and you will not have to put trouble into what you are doing 16 mm. on the 13 dynamics long boxing set In your own training of each posture, once you have learned them all, they are joined together to make a long routine, flowing on and on without interruption, one posture after another, and thus it is called long boxing. It is crucial for the set of postures to be performed consistently otherwise it may after a while turn instead into either slippery boxing or stiff boxing you are sure must not lose your pliability and the movement of your whole body should be grown upon mind and spirit after practicing over a long period of time you will naturally have a breakthrough and attain everything you have been working toward and nothing will be strong enough to stand up against you. When working with partner, the four techniques of war all roll back, press, and push are the first of the 13 dynamics to work on. Stand in one place and do the four techniques rolling in circles then do them advancing and retreating 
do them at a middle weight, then do them high and low as well, practicing at all three weights. Starting with the basics, work your way through the solo set, then begin working with the four techniques, larger gross movements at first, then focusing on the finer details on the until the skill of extending and contracting is fluent. You will have a sense through the midway of attainment and then will continue to the top. 17. Tai Chi's inversion of the passive and active aspects. Examples of the active, passive, sky, ground, sun, moon, fire, water, releasing, cooling, exciting, entering, issuing, storing, offense, defense, opening, closing, subject, sovereign, muscle, bone. Practice the theory, the energy, the principle, body, mind, martial, civil, dedicate to, observeth in, square, round, excel, inhale, up, down, advance, retreat, oblique, direct. The inversion principle can be explained with water and fire, led to their own device, fire rise and water sinks. But if water is placed above fire, then they, they are in a, an inverted state. Of course, if not done properly, there will be no inverted state. Just a fire put out and some water made into steam. And so it has to be a situation of water being put in a pot which is then positioned over the fire. When the water in the pot receives the fire's heart, not only will it not be able to sink away, it will also absorb the fire's heat and inevitably become warm and although the fire is rising to the pot it stops there and goes no further by not allowing the fire to rise freely or the water to sink away this is water and fire as in after completing experiment 63 made of water on top of the fire and is the principle of inversion if the fire is allowed to rise freely and the water to sink away, the result will of course be that the water and fire will go their separate ways as two entities and this is water and fire as in before completion Exam 64 made of <coughs> fire on top of water. So goes the principle that in separating they become two and in joining they become one and thus it is said that one becomes two and then two becomes one which totals three namely sky ground and mankind once you understand this principle of passive and active inverting then the way can be discussed once you understand that the way cannot be departed from for a moment the human being can be discussed and it is thought human beings that the way can be glorified once you understand that the way is not far away from human beings then the universe can be discussed it is all one entity of sky above, ground below, 
and mankind in the middle. If you can examine the world and be one with the shine of the sun and moon, with the grandeur and erosion of the landscape, with the wakes and wane of the seasons, with the growth and decay of plants, and come to the tent with the favors and prowings of spirits, and understand the rising and declining of human affairs, then can be discussed the large universe of the skyness and cloudness, and the smaller universe that is a human being. To understand the human body and mind, study the awareness and ability of the, the things in nature. Then the human awareness and abilities that come from nature can be discussed. If you do not forget your innate talents, nor your noble energy constantly nurturing it and never harming it, you will survive if they finally Finally, and so it is said that the human being is a small universe. The sky represents your nature, and ground represents your life, and your naturalness represents your spirit. If you do not understand this, how will you be a blending of sky and ground to make a third? Unless you express your nature and sustain your life, the work of spiritual enlightenment and transformation has nothing to build, build on and cannot come to fruition. Let's uh, make a pause and then we continue in a few moments. Let's put another thing in this. Okay, we'll put. Um, No, I don't know. Maybe, maybe. I, I. Okay, we will be pause this for a second, and then we continue. We came back. 